today are gonna be what oh, flour tortillas I'm so sorry I'm forgetful but I have um, flour tortillas for you guys today so watch out for the ingredients okay so the ingredients we're gonna use are gonna be three cups of all-purpose flour one cup of hot water mine is really hot from the microwave you don't have to have it that hot I prefer it that hot of course a rolling pin um, you need manteca, lard, or shortening. You're going to use one-third cup of this. This is just a two-cup measuring because I need three cups of the flour. Two teaspoons of the uh, baking powder. One teaspoon of, sh of salt. This is going to be for the lard, the one-third. And then I just have an extra little bit of hot water here in case I would need it. So, yeah. Just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing mine in my stand mixer i'm going to be using this because it's faster guys but you can do it by hand and when you put all your ingredients together and it comes into a ball then you're going to need that for seven to ten minutes guys so you have this really nice smooth um when you have this nice smooth dough nice and supple and pliable that's not sticky to your hands so let's start measuring our ingredients in here i'm going to use let me get a smaller cup. It's easier with this one. So, I am grabbing three cups. Guys, I have to tell you, <laughs> you will see anyways. I am going to roll out my tortillas. I actually have a tortilla maker. The tortilla press is hot and it makes them nice and round. But I want to show you by hand, but I need to warn you guys. Okay, three cups first. We're gonna add two tablespoons, no, teaspoons, guys, teaspoons, not tablespoons. Two teaspoons of the baking powder. One, two, three. let me just get the ingredients in here first. One teaspoon of salt. It's not a lot of salt. You have three cups of flour in here. Okay. And then we have one third of lard to do. Okay. Have anything in here? Oh, this one because it's disposable. Got it. Guys, if you do not want to use lard because you're you know, taking care of yourself, your health and stuff. You don't have to do lard. You can do any oil of your choice. Coconut oil is very, very good for this, just so you know. Um, so is olive oil, sunflower seed. I mean, like I said, oil of your choice. I'm using manteca because this is the traditional way. And this is why I am doing it this way. And you want to make sure it's one third, guys. You want this to be a nice, easy, smooth dough. Seems like a lot of manteca, but guys, think about it. You guys have three cups, three cups of flour in here. <laughs> okay, so that's going away. So I'm just going to pour it in here. I have to do it this way, guys. I needed measurements for you guys, so yeah. Why did I do that? So guys, it's a Monday. You know why I'm dressed like this? Because it's ridiculous hot out here, guys. I'm just gonna keep using dish after dish after dish. Look. It is ridiculously hot. And just so you know, when it's this weather, my face never sees makeup. Rarely it'll see lip gloss. Just because it's so hot, guys. Ooh, all this stuff in my head is killing me. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my machine. I'm going to let this 
blend together till we have like sand consistency. You're doing it by hand, you know, same thing. Put your hands in there and just make it until you get sand consistency. I'm actually gonna mute this a little bit for you guys. You don't want to start off high because you don't want all this blowing up in your face. Okay guys, this is what I want to show you. Just like the consistency of sand. Okay guys, this is what you want. So now, we're going to add our cup of water. Okay guys, I'm going to add it in slowly. Gonna go a little quicker. Oh, okay. oh, too hard. You guys are forming a ball already. One cup is always enough, but there are times when the dough is just, just a little drier. So then we just add a little bit of more, more water, like in this case. It looks like I'm adding a little bit more. That's why you always have a little bit on the side, you know. all clean all the way around it's not sticking to anywhere you just need to pick up a little bit down the bottom and there it is guys what I wanted to tell you is I'm gonna start this up what I wanted to tell you is this is gonna go on here for 10 whole minutes guys it's gonna be needing doing its thing for 10 minutes okay if you're doing it by hand, you need it for seven to 10 minutes, guys, okay? We will sh I will show you what will be happening after the 10 minutes are up. I'm gonna go set up my timer. What I also wanted to tell you, I have my, my um, stand mixer between the four and the six. Let me make sure that's what it is. It's on six, guys. Just so you know, it's on number six. And I'm gonna keep it here on number six for the whole 10 minutes, then I'll be back. Guys, I just remembered what I wanted to talk to you about or what I started to talk about in the beginning and never got around to it. My tortillas will be every shape and size except for a circle, guys. I don't know why I can't get it. I practice this, I practice all the time. I do these tortillas all the time. Granted, I do use a lot the uh, hot tortilla press, but guys, I try to make a round tortilla and it doesn't happen. So expect weird shapes and sizes. It's never round. Let's see what happens now. Okay guys, my alarm just went off. It has been 10 minutes. Wow, my dough's still nice and hot. My machine's hot too. Did this for 10 minutes, guys. So yeah, 10 minutes. Then what I like to do, guys, I actually like to take it out. Put this down. No deal, I have crazy grandchildren. Then what I like to do, is just a little bit of flour. I just like to take it and I just like to knead it for another extra two minutes. I don't know why, but I always do. Just an extra two minutes. See how this dough is? Look at how nice. Look at how soft it is. Nice and supple. Just it doesn't stick to your hands or anything. It's really nice. It's really smooth, really soft. You can feel it. It's still nice and warm from the hot water that I added. And you do need the hot water. Guys, do not add cold water to this. Make it nice and hot. If you're gonna do it by hand, of course you're not gonna microwave it. Just do it to how hot you can stand it. You don't need to get burned. Or anything like that. I did mine in the sand, stand mixer, so this is why I microwaved mine. And I only microwaved it for two minutes. Okay, so this is all right, guys. This is your little dough ball. Yeah, this is what three cups looks like. 
So what I like to do is I like to pinch it, I like to grab it, squeeze it, make it a circle, it goes my little ball. You're just going to go around, you're going to keep grabbing, squeezing to what your fingers can grab. Just twist it off, you already have a little ball, see? You're supposed to get a dozen out of these. I'm not the only one who's had this problem, but I get more than a dozen. Usually 13 to 14. So let's see what happens today. Okay guys, so yeah. So I'm doing this, we're separating all the balls. If you have a scale and you wanna be really consistent with your size, weigh them in. I don't I know, wouldn't know what to tell you what the weight would be, but if you have an idea, make one and then just make the rest just like it. Okay, just squeeze it and twist off the little ball. Go around, squeezing. And then guys, we're not gonna start rolling these out at all. I like to let this sit for half an hour. Because if you start rolling it out, it's gonna shrink right back up. I'm not saying you're not gonna get it's not gonna shrink when you do it the other way after you, but it's not as much. Two more right here. That's it. Okay, so how many I get? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen balls, guys. I got thirteen here. So what I'm gonna do now. Let me grab a Ziploc bag. Because you don't want them to dry up, guys. So, I'm going to take my Ziploc bag and I'm going to put my whole plate all in here. And I'm going to let this sit for half an hour. Then we can start our... I probably doesn't want to fit today. Fits in the other bags. Oh, here we go. So, just put it in my Ziploc bag, guys. And this is going to be here for 30 minutes. We're not going to touch it. Then we'll go back in a little bit and we will roll them up. Like I said, and remember you've been forewarned, guys. Uh, mine don't come out round. Every shape but circle. So watch out for that. Hold on. All right, 30 minutes are up. The time has come to roll one of these balls out. Remember, guys, I told you. Make sure you keep everything locked, closed all the time. You want Make sure your table is nice and clean. This is just extra flour. Remember, I already warned you, mine do not come out nice and round. So I'll take one of these little balls. I like to smash it. I put a little bit in here. This is flour, by the way. Just extra water. Dip it in there. Get the excess out. I like to make it a little bit round before I start. Take a little bit of flour. I always make a mess when I make these tortillas, guys. So here we go. In the middle. One up, one down. Turn it. One up, one down. Keep turning it. See what I mean, guys? It's not coming out. Circle it. I'm trying to give it a little bit of a round shape, guys. See? It never works out, guys. It never works out for me. I don't know why, I don't get it, it just doesn't. But anyways, doesn't matter the shape that it is guys, we're going to eat it. So, oh, forgot to tell you, while we're doing this, trying to shape our tortilla guys, um, your stove should be on, your griddle should be on, and I have mine on a medium, okay? So I'm just going to let this one hang around for a little bit while I roll out my other one, okay? See how that one turns out. You can make them as thick or as thin as you like. I like mine thin. I'm gonna dip it back in the flour. Take all the excess out. Can either go like this, like the way you make your arepas or your pupusas. Make it nice around. Put it in the middle. One up, one down. Turn it. See, it kind of wants to start off round. It just doesn't happen for me. Guys, I'm sorry. My windows are open. And I have new neighbors. Tell me where they're loud as heck, man. Especially that baby. See, guys? It's, it starts to look round, but I don't know where I go wrong. I seriously do not know where I go wrong. Just 
keep turning it. You're making it as flat as possible in the middle. Because then you're going to go to the edges and flatten those out too. Okay, guys? It's kind of round. I'm kind of excited. But leave it to me to mess it up. It's not round anymore, yo. God, it's terrible. But yeah, guys, you know what? The shape doesn't even matter because you're still going to eat it. You know what I mean? Still going to eat it. It's kind of round, guys. It's kind of round. <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. But I don't know how to do it any other way to get it round. So yeah, guys, this one just came out a little bit. Oh, a little bit bigger than the other one so yeah this is what it looks like it has a hole doesn't matter so what we're gonna do now okay i don't know what beat oh my grandson's watch okay so we're just gonna take this and go straight to our griddle okay guys like i said medium heat remember this one has a hole in it and it looks like this but you can round it off as it's heating up you know it gives a little See, and right away it starts making little bubbles, guys. I'm doing one at a time just because my um, tortillas turned out a little bigger than I thought they would. But you see, once it starts making all these little circles, little bubbles, you want to turn it wire right away. You do not want it to burn. And it's already poofing, guys. Look at this. Look at how nice that's coming out. That's what happens when you let your dough rest a little bit, you know? Still poofing, even though it has a hole. See? Ay, 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 ay. Burnt, burnt. Ouch. Very hot. So there you go, guys. Mmm. You guys look see, so good. See? Colors that you want. All these little brown thingies without burning, of course. And they cook pretty quick. So you're just going to leave it maybe a, a minute per side. But you got to, you know, you want to check on them. You don't want them to burn. And I made mine really thin. There are people who like theirs thick. Uh, the hubby and I and Gabby, we like them thin. And they cook faster. So there you go, guys. That's your very first tortilla. I'm just putting it on a plate here. And this is my other tortilla. See? Not round, guys. It is not round. Like I said, different shapes and sizes. No, but just try to fix it a little bit. You can tell it starts to cook because you can see the color of the of the dough and then with all the little bubbles are starting to surface. See? That's very quick. That's not even 30 seconds right there. Just want to check it and see. Just a little bit more. But yeah, and this is real time. I'm not speeding anything up. This is real time right here. See that? See it where it starts to bubble guys i don't know if you guys can see that very nice very thin oh, yeah, yeah. i don't know why i didn't bring my spatula guys i eat these little bits at all mm. i like it you guys can use um like i said oil but i just feel like the um the manteca or the lard the fat just gives it better flavor guys so yeah, that is it for my tortillas. I'm only going to make two. I mean, Gabby's out of school, but I haven't made anything to go with this. I just wanted to get the video out there for you guys. And yeah, very easy, very thin. Look at that, really nice and soft. Mouse is right back. See how thin it is? I like my tortillas really thin. So yeah, this is it, guys. If you have a tortilla warmer, you put them in there. If you don't have a tortilla warmer, just wrap it in paper towel and then an aluminum foil and they will stay warm for a long time, guys. So yeah, guys, I warned you, it is not a circle shape. Kind of like an oblong shape, but look at this. Nice, soft tortilla. You can eat it, you can make it as big as you want so you can make burritos out of them. I'm just gonna taste it and eat it like this for you guys. Mmm nice thin the edges are crispy but it's nice and soft it's pliable guys with some scrambled eggs sausage a little bit of onions and tomatoes i mean sauteed of course you know green peppers so good so 
so good guys mm, you know how my husband likes these too a hot cup of coffee and does this perfect so guys i hope you like my video i hope you try making these tortillas i hope yours turn out round i can't get it together um yeah and the one tablespoon teaspoon of salt is just perfect guys it doesn't need any more salt than that it's perfect so i hope you like this video i hope you like it i hope you try it yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch you on tomorrow's video guys because tomorrow for sure for sure are capurias okay so watch out for that video. Take care and God bless. Bye.